In this video, I will introduce you to the new, just released for sale today, Midland MXR10 GMRS repeater. And because I understand that you think your time is very valuable to you, I will do my best, as in all of my videos, to keep this video short and to the point. The price for the new Midland MXR10 GMRS repeater is $459. Affiliate link below. And Midland also sells a bundle of this repeater, which includes the Midland MXR repeater, 50 feet of good quality coax, a 10 dB seven foot long pre-tuned GMRS base station antenna, that can handle up to 100 watts and a mounting bracket for the antenna. Basically everything that you need to use this repeater. The cost for the bundle is $659. Affiliate link below. And Midland did send me their new MXR10 portable GMRS repeater at no cost so that I could share it with you my favorite viewer, because Midland knows and understands that you trust what I say. When you purchase the Midland MXR10 GMRS repeater in the box, you will find a quick start guide going over everything that you need to know to get the repeater up and running quickly. You will find a user manual written in perfect English, as one would expect from a company based in these United States. The user manual and the accompanying quick start guide are not only written in perfect English, but they are also written in simple English that everyone can understand. And by that, I mean that you do not have to be a radio engineer to understand what the manual says and what the manual is talking about. You may also notice that the user manual is very short, not very many pages, because there are not a lot of bells and whistles on this repeater, which makes the repeater very simple to use. You will receive an AC power adapter and AC power cord. One end of the power adapter plugs into the hole on the repeater and the other end plugs into one of the holes that you find in the walls of your home, thereby converting the 120 volts of electricities that come out of your wall into a suitable amount of power for the repeater to use. You will find a 12 volt power supply, which plugs into the cigarette lighter hole, also known as the 12 volt power port of most vehicles. The other end also going into the hole on the repeater. This allows you to provide power from your vehicle while out and about, for example, when camping or hiking, so that you can use the repeater while you are adventuring. You will receive a programming cable. One end plugs into the repeater, the other end plugs into one of the holes on your computer, and you would use this to program the repeater. I will talk more about that momentarily. And you will receive the new Midland MXR10 GMRS repeater. On the repeater, you will find a display screen, up and down arrow buttons, and we'll talk more about those momentarily, an SO239 hole for connecting your antenna to that plugs into a standard PL259 coax cable. You will find the power port and programming port, and a serial port for connecting a speaker microphone or other accessories. However, Midland does not yet sell a speaker microphone. I could not find any other accessories for the repeater. The repeater has a very stylish leather or leather-like handle. I am not sure if it is actual real leather from an actual real cow. It looks like leather. It smells like leather. And yes, it does taste like leather. The case is sealed and they do not want you to open it up. There are no user serviceable parts inside, but inside the repeater, you would find a radio transmitter and a duplexer 
that is pre-tuned for use on GMRS frequencies. The repeater is fairly small, measuring in at just over 11 inches by approximately nine inches by about three inches. It is very rugged and it does not consume very much power, making it perfect for a solar powered repeater setup. Do you hear that? Listen, that is the sound of some people right now breaking their fingers, banging on their keyboards at home in an uncontrollable fit to be the first one to leave a comment that says that this is just a copy of the Redivis repeater. So for those of you that were just right now banging your fingers on the keyboard, use this opportunity to learn something and learn that you are wrong. It is true that the new Midland MXR10 is manufactured by the same manufacturer and in the same manufacturing plant as the Redivis repeaters, and they are very similar in design. However, there are some differences. One of these is not like the other. And the first difference is the case. The Redivis RT97 is made of plastic. The Midland MXR10 is made of metal, cast aluminum to be exact. Unlike the Redivis, the Midland comes pre-programmed to make it easier to use right out of the box. You can use this repeater right out of the box. Just choose which pre-programmed repeater channel you want from the list that is clearly defined in the manual. Put your GMRS radio on the corresponding repeater channel and you're done. This repeater, as I think I previously mentioned, is not manufactured in these United States of America. However, Midland is an American company based in Kansas City in the heart of these United States. So when you buy this repeater, all of the profits stay in these United States. This also means that should you run into problems during the one year warranty, you will deal with a U.S.-based company, not some anonymous entity in China. My friend, this is as close to made in America that you are going to find in the GMRS world. To power on the repeater, you simply plug it into a power source and the controls are very simple. Long press and hold one of the up or down arrow buttons to change the channel. This will switch between your predefined repeater setting channels or press and hold the up and down arrows at the same time to see what your tone settings are. Quick press and hold to change the volume up or down. That's if you have a speaker mic connected and that's pretty much all there is. If you want to change any settings on the repeater like adding custom tones, you will need to connect the repeater to your computer using the supplied programming cable and you will need to use the free Midland programming software, which Midland has made as simple as possible to use. Using the software, you can change options like tones and channel frequencies and the repeater hang time, and the power level and bandwidth can be changed on a channel by channel basis. The box says that this repeater has a 10 watt radio, and that means that the transmitter outputs 10 watts into the duplexer inside the case. However, as is very clearly spelled out pretty much on the first page of the manual, what comes out of the antenna hole is 10 watts minus duplexer loss. And that is because the type of duplexers that you find in this type of small repeaters will eat a large percentage of the power that comes out of the transmitter. For those that actually read the user manual, you will find that on page nine, the manual specifies the power output after the duplexer, which is stated as 5.7 watts. So let's test that. So to test the actual power coming out of the antenna port, I will connect the Midland MXR10 repeater to my Farzometer 2000, pronounced Farzometer 2000, power and SWR meter, via this high quality Messi and Poloni coax cable. Using one of my GMRS radios, which is configured to use the same repeater channel seven as is currently set on the repeater, I will transmit to the repeater, which will send RF electricities through this cable and into the 
Sparzo Meter 2000, where it will then display the power output right here. It will also display a large number here. That will be the SWR. However, since we are connected to a dummy load and not an actual antenna, that number will be meaningless. The number that we care about will be right there. And when I key up my radio, we can see that the repeater is outputting over 6 watts, which is even better than promised. I have been running this new Midland MXR10 repeater with a big antenna on my roof for about a week, 24 hours a day, and I have had zero issues with the repeater. And as you will hear momentarily, the repeater is getting good signal reports from many FARs away. Testing Ranchino from Chino, California. 828 or 530. Do you guys copy me on Ranchino? 828, copy 356. Yes, sir. Copy you loud and clear. Shevet 790. I copy you out here on the border of Fontana and Ontario. Copy that. I hear you loud and clear. Yeah, you're coming in good. I'm mobile while I'm headed down Valley Boulevard in Fontana. Breathing you loud and clear, sir. Currently in Rancho Cucamonga on mobile. Over. And although your FARs will vary, the Midland MXR-10 gets virtually the same FARs as my much larger and much more expensive repeater, which for me, where I live, at my house, with my antenna, is basically 30 to 40 miles in all directions except north because there is a mountain range half a mile north of me blocking all my signals. And although I am very happy with the new Midland MXR10 GMRS repeater and do highly recommend it to you, my favorite viewer, it is not all rainbows and butterflies. This repeater is not perfect because in Midland's quest to keep the repeater simple and easy to use, it does have some limitations. The repeater is limited to only 16 different programmable channels, although for most people, that's probably 15 channels more than they will ever need. However, some people will still complain about only having 16 channels. The repeater does not do automatic identification, and for some people, this may be a deal breaker. However, most normal people will not care. As I mentioned previously, the output is only six or seven watts, which as you just saw and heard with your very own noise holes in my setup works great. However, in more urban areas or in places with lots of trees, like in a forest, more power would have been nice. The cost is a little higher than similar repeaters sold by companies in China. However, as I previously mentioned, this repeater has some advantages over those, and many people will be happy to pay that premium. So if you are looking for a small, rugged, lightweight, portable, and simple to use repeater, and if you want something that is as close to made in the USA as possible, this might be the repeater for you.